Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Beard. I am Jason Fox and I am also Lee Cloud's Beard. Today we will be discussing the tweet, you don't have to create the most interesting thing ever, just the most interesting thing at the moment. And that moment is always the moment when someone is looking at your ad and or other piece of marketing communication. I call everything an ad because in the end, everything really is an ad. Nonetheless, let's get back at it. It seems strange in an industry where most of the things that get creative, created and put out into the public really aren't that interesting, that sometimes we actually handcuff ourselves from doing something that's interesting because we think it's not interesting enough. I know it's a paradox, isn't it? But it happens from time to time. You'll have something that's actually good, something that's actually very interesting, and we start to doubt ourselves or someone else enters the room and puts that seed of doubt into our mind that it's not quite interesting enough. We need to go bigger and bolder and do something else. And sometimes that's a valid argument, but well, here's where the, um, you know, the wisdom needs to kick in and say, you know what, this actually is very interesting. It's something people will respond to. It's much better than what's in the marketplace at the moment. And frankly, it's great enough. It's great and it will do well. Is it the best thing since sliced bread? Well, no, nothing's ever as great as sliced bread. If you think about how great sliced bread is, it's pretty darn awesome. But is it good? Is it going to work? then do it. Push for something great. And when you get there, be confident enough to actually go with it. That's all you got to do. We're a neurotic bunch, us advertising folks, especially on the creative side. I admit that, and that's okay. But when you got it, go with it. I'm Jason Fox. Have a good one.